Before COVID-19, our system of criminal justice was struggling, partly due to years of cuts. Fewer suspects were being charged with a crime, but with many courts sold off, it was taking far longer for cases to come to trial. Reoffending rates were high, with probation staff overworked and prisons overcrowded. The cracks in the system widened under lockdown restrictions and jury trials slowed to a trickle. Prisoners were locked in cells 23 hours a day. Experts from Crest Advisory have looked at the problems and analysed the long-term impact of the pandemic. They forecast a big rise in the number of suspects facing charges. That's because crimes like fraud, theft and burglary increase as unemployment goes up and people have less money. And because the police recruitment drive with 20,000 extra officers will mean more arrests. By 2024, the analysis suggests the caseload will be unmanageable. The backlog in Crown Courts could be four times what it was in 2019, and magistrates could have ten times as many cases. So how can the criminal justice system recover? First, reduce the flow so fewer people enter the process by investing in prevention to stop crimes happening and diverting some suspects away from the courts towards rehabilitation schemes. Second, increase capacity by setting up more temporary courtrooms and extending court sitting hours. And finally, radical changes to make the system more effective through better use of technology, devolution, giving local areas greater control over criminal justice and ensuring they work together, and building policy around the needs of victims and the public. To find out more about Crest Solutions to these problems, visit their website.